Uh, hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about handicap, uh, the new handicap system, USJ and Gin um, formed an alliance uh, and they revamped and redeveloped, uh, they're calling it now the world handicap system. Um, so just a couple uh, changes, some major changes, minor changes, some things that have stayed the same. Uh, and really just want to walk everyone through, um, you know, how to post correctly uh, and what those changes are. So uh, my first recommendation, and we're going to get into this uh, at the end, um, is to download the app. Okay, so you can, uh, it's the easiest way to do it. Um, we'll walk through how to do that. You can either do that, you can post on gin.com, so you can post online um, uh, like you were able to in the past. And then uh, all your golf shops should have kiosks in there. Um, the issue now with with really what's going on uh it was with golf courses opening uh and some of the restrictions that are in place uh and for safety measures uh, a lot of a lot of times these kiosks won't be accessible um so the mobile app is the best way to do it um and why do you want to do it um you need to make sure that you do it every day uh, because handicaps are being calculated every day uh, if you wait four or five days uh, you know, your daily handicap is not being updated properly. So it's, it's imperative to make sure you're, um, you're posting day of. Um, some of the uh, minor changes, instead of your best 10 of your last 20 scores, uh, it's now your best eight of your last 20 scores. So you may notice that uh, your handicap index has gone down a little bit uh, based on where it ended last year. Um, and that's one of the primary reasons why. Um, the reason that you want to post every day we talked about is, is handicaps are being updated every day, but there's also a new thing in play. It's called PCC. It's called Play in, uh, Playing Conditions Calculator. And what does that mean? Uh, it was advertised as, you know, the weather factor. Uh, if you're playing in really tough conditions, um, that, you know, your score would be appropriately uh, figured out for those conditions. Um, really, it's an algorithm that, uh, that the software uses that basically takes all the scores that are posted at a facility for that day um, and then figures out based on handicap indexes for the individuals that posted what those scores should look like. Uh, and, based, and what it'll allow it to do is take a stroke off your score or add a stroke to your score or add two strokes to your score. So club championship, greens are really fast, pins are tucked, uh, it's windy out, uh, the rough was really thick that day, it just really played hard or the course played really easy because some tees were up and, and they were more forward. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna more uh, accurately reflect your score for that day. So again, the PCC can either be a minus one reduction, uh, it'll be as posted, uh, it'll be a plus one edition or a plus two edition. Um, if you do not post your score that day, uh, your score will not be subject to the PCC, uh, which is why it's important to update every day. So up, uh, post every time you play that day so that you're eligible for PCC uh, and so that your handicap when it updates every day instead of the first and 15th of every month, uh, it's an accurate reflection for the following day. Um, when you do uh, post, uh, the other kind of major change uh, is ESC has gone away. ESC is equitable stroke control. What is that? It's basically, there's a recommendation on what the most strokes uh, a given handicap range could take on a, on a certain hole. So zero to 10, it was double bogey. Uh, 10 to 20, it was seven and so on and so forth. They've revamped that and changed that. So it's now net double bogey. Okay, so what does that mean? If I'm a zero handicap, the most I can take on a hole is double bogey. If I'm a 10 handicap, the most I can take on the 10 toughest holes, so the 10 uh, top handicap holes, is triple bogey. So it'd be double bogey plus my stroke. And then on the easiest eight holes, it would be double bogey. Um, you know, if you're getting two strokes on a hole because your handicap is more than 18, um, then the most you could post on that score would be a quad so you know fourth hole here number one handicap hole if you're getting two strokes based on your course handicap what you're going to see is the most you can post is eight can become a little confusing and difficult uh which is why they have two score posting options one is um total score and one is hole by hole i highly recommend posting hole by hole because the computer will do it uh, automatically for you you don't have to worry about going through your card figuring out where your strokes are and figuring out now, what your maximum um, score on each hole is or, or could be, uh, the computer will do it for you natu naturally. So definitely do that. Um, the other thing is they recommend seven holes, um, at least seven holes, you should be posting a nine hole score, 14 holes, you should be posting an 18 hole score. What does that mean? 
if you go out and you play seven holes because um, you couldn't get the other two holes in because of darkness or rain or whatnot, you should be posting a nine hole score. How do you figure out the other two holes you didn't play? Basically, you're gonna take net par. So if you're getting a stroke on that hole, it's a bogey, no stroke on the hole, it's a par, two strokes on that hole, it's a double bogey, so on and so forth. So if you play 10 holes, you're gonna post a nine hole score. If you play seven holes, you're gonna post a nine hole score, you're gonna figure out the other two. If you play 15 holes, you're gonna post an 18 hole score, you're gonna figure out the last three, so on and so forth. Um, the other thing is a lot of people uh, in the past haven't necessarily posted their league scores or match play scores because there's, uh, they feel like it's an inaccurate um, determination of what they actually shot because uh, shots are given if they're out of a hole and they've been given a putt or they were asked to pick it up for pace of play purposes. Uh, the recommendation from, the, uh, from USGA and from Jin is to post a score every single time you play golf. It's imperative um, because if you're not playing every day and you're, you know, and you're only playing in those scenarios, the only way you can have an accurate handicap is to make sure you're posting every day. And they have executed these guidelines. Uh, they're in the slides that we sent. Uh, I'm guessing on a little bit here, so I might not be 100% correct, but you'll get the gist of it. Um, their recommendation is five feet and in. If you're given a, a putt, you count it as one, right? So you count it as if you make it. If you're given something from five to 15 feet or five to 20 feet, um, then you count it as two. So you should be taking two strokes based on where you lie, adding that to your score. If you are 15, 20 feet to 15 yards, uh, it is two or three. So it's at the discretion of the player. And what comes into play there is their situation. Are they going over a trap and it's a hard up and down? Then it's three. If they're pretty straightforward, it's a 30 foot putt and it's probably two. You should also figure in your playing ability and your handicap. All right, so those things need to factor in when you determine whether it's two or three. And then outside 15 yards, the recommendation is three or four. So it doesn't happen often. Most of the times you're given something and you're asked to pick up, you're, uh, you're gonna be doing so, you know, you're five or 10 feet. So you've got the recommendations now based on the handicap system. You know, the likelihood is if you're picking up uh, outside of 15 yards, you're probably in the max allowable uh, stroke on that whole situation anyways. And then I'd refer to it again, like we talked about, you know, if you're getting one stroke on that hole, you're gonna mark down a bogey. If you're getting two strokes on that hole, I'm sorry, you're gonna mark down a triple. If you're getting two strokes on that hole, you're gonna mark, mark down a quad, so on and so forth. So we're gonna transition now into how to download the app and how to post, uh, you know, online or, th or through the, uh, the kiosk at your club. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna, got my app here there we go all right so if you've got your iphone or um, your android or whatever smartphone you're using your ipad basically you're going to go to the app store so click there we're going to go to the search tab we're going to type in gin we're going to search you'll see gin mobile it pops up right here you're going to hit it it'll download it if you've already had the app on your phone when you update, it should automatically have updated. It should automatically have carried over your GIN number and all your information, and you should be able to just post. And again, there's an option for hole by hole and total score. I would recommend using the hole by hole. If you're downloading this for the first time, you're gonna need your seven digit GIN number. Okay, so you can either reach out to me to get it. Uh, if you're a member here, or if you're a member somewhere else, make sure you get your GIN number from, um, from wherever uh, your handicap's hosted. Okay, so we're gonna move from here um, to our kiosk here in the golf shop. So what we see here is Northern Spy Golf Club. Let's see if I can turn it this way, make it a little bit more advisable there. So you can do it by last name, local number, or gin number. Okay, so if you go over to gin number, 775-4775. I don't want anyone posting scores under my name. We have to continue. There I am. So I can post a total score, hole by hole score, um, you get my handicap information or golfer lookup. So again, this is the recommend, uh, my recommendation, go to hole by hole. You can change any of these. So we're doing home here. We got T's white, we can change them to blue. Go to enter hole by hole score. You know, I feel really good out of the gate. We make a couple birdies, then I make a quad because I choke on three. And you'll see immediately, see how it reduces that automatically for me. That's why I recommend hole by hole. Um, when you get them all in, there's a post score option. 
um, that'll come through. So let's say we just finish out here. Um, we'll go to the back nine and a pretty boring day for Derek. Um, and then you're gonna review round and it'll just it adjust my score and you can hit post score, right? So uh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go back to score entry, round setup. Okay, uh, if I only wanted to post nine holes, boom, I got nine holes right there. If we play it away, so let's say away, uh, we're gonna enter a hole by hole score away. Oops, let's go back here. Um, you go and click on course, you can search uh, any course here. So let's say I played, um, played, our good friends over in Fitchburg, we played Oak Hill. Um, it's gonna pull up all the Oak Hills. Find the one in Fitchburg, Mass. You're gonna select your tees. So let's say I played the blacks there. And again, you're gonna do it the same same way. So what you notice is too, I'm sorry, I'm not doing good with the camera. My course handicap there is uh, significantly different than it was here, all right? And a lot of that has to do with um, the slope and rating at each of these facilities. Okay, so uh, basically that is about it. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, make sure you're posting your scores every day. Make sure you're doing hole by hole. Uh, and that's it. So thank you, and we'll see you again next time.